70% of people actually don't even utilize the full potential of the GPU. I'm not only going to show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for the least amount of latency, but also additional feature in order to actually speed up the communication time between your CPU and your GPU, which is overall gonna reduce your input delay even more. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys. And at the end of the video, you're gonna have the least amount of latency, highest FPS, and best color settings. So therefore, let's go. Open your NVIDIA control panel, click on a manage 3D settings. First of all, disable image scaling and ambient occlusion. Except for gamma correction, you can turn off any anti-strophic or anti analyzing mode in your control panel. Select your background application max frame rate and put it to the lowest one and press OK. Under CUDA GPUs, make sure to select all. For DSR factors, I keep it completely off. Low latency mode, you gotta put either on on or ultra. It really depends which kind of monitor you guys are using right now, but for me, ultra works the best. For your maximum frame rate, put it exactly 5% above your maximum monitor refresh rate. Multiple frame sampling, AA is again enhancing mode. And since we're gonna go for best performance, turn it off. Any sort of OpenGL service, you're gonna leave on automatic. Power management mode, you're gonna put under prefer maximum performance. Refresh rate you're gonna put on the highest available and super important your shader cache you're gonna put onto 10 gigs. Corrupted shader cache data can cause stutter or lag in games so therefore put it under 10 gigs so that your windows clears it out regularly and creates new ones. Texture filtering and anti-strophic sample optimization you're gonna put onto on. This helps your game to preload textures before you actually load in. Preloaded textures will help you out a lot in terms of performance and more stable FPS. Texture filtering negative LOD bias you're gonna put under low. Texture filtering quality under highest performance since we're trying to hit maximum FPS. Texture filtering trillionaire optimization you're gonna leave on on to enable billionaire textures which is gonna help your games as well to load faster. Threaded optimization just simply leave on the auto. Triple buffering you should turn off. Vertical sync you should definitely turn off guys. It only makes a difference if you're actually using a 60 hertz panel. For anything above you should definitely not utilize it. And for virtual reality you gotta leave it on the lowest or completely turned off and the same with Vulkan OpenGL. And now I'm going to show you how I can make your games look as good as possible. A gaming VPN is actually the best method to reduce your ping in any competitive games you guys trying to play. And no ping would be my number one recommendation. They also have a built-in mode to reduce your input delay on any keyboard as well as some of the best core tweaks everyone should apply on the gaming PC. And with the code right now you're on screen you can even get 30% off and they have as well a 7 day trial version so therefore you can try it out and see if you like it. And of course guys the link is in my description. Click under adjust desktop color settings, select your main monitor, find digital vibrance and put it to 75%. Then go under adjust video color settings, find your saturation and put it to 75% as well. This is not only going to provide you with a lot more vibrant and colorful picture but it's also going to make it a lot easier to actually spot enemies in all the games you guys play since the contrast between players and the background is going to be a lot higher. And now I'm about to show you how you can increase your GPU power even more. We're going to be utilizing the MSI utility tool version 3, right click onto it and run it as administrator. What you want to do in here is find your GPU, go on the right side and now check for supported modes. If it says MSI you definitely should enable the MSI mode. This is a lot faster to transfer data between your GPU and CPU which is going to give you less latency in games. Make sure to enable the MSI mode. You can get the tool by the way on my official website and then just make sure to enable the MSI mode. Now all you guys can do is reset your PC and enjoy having a lot better performance. Definitely make sure to check out the two videos right now on screen where I'm going to show you how to get less latency in games and also how to fully optimize your PC even more.